Oh, hey, Pete, or whoever's watching. Um, just on my way back home, but uh, this is actually a, a surf spot. Um, the actual sand is not really glamorous. It looks uh, not 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 really a place to have a put a towel down, but it is a, a surfing spot. So there's obviously good waves, and uh, the uh, there. I think this is a good place for a beginner to learn how to surf. Uh, I wasn't particularly good at surfing, and uh, because of that, I never uh, took much of an interest in it. I've got a couple of friends from high school, my high school days, who loved surfing, but uh, maybe sometime in the future, I might uh, take an interest in surfing. And uh, this type of uh, wave is, is ideal for me. It's a beginner, and uh, it's not dangerous and easy to learn. Um, I do, I do think the big waves are scary, personally, but. For a bit of fun, next size the, the small waves are good to learn, and um, I haven't seen any sharks. <laughs> That's another fear I have uh, seen sharks. Um, but uh, this is uh, a surf spot. The other surf area popular in Japan is Shizuoka as well. But um, no, it's, it's a, it doesn't look pretty, but uh, you know it's a good good spot for a uh, you know, for a little bit, a little bit of a surf. And uh, if you're a beginner, I think it's good. And, uh, the sand looks a bit ugly, but uh, no, it's not. Well, that's not really that important for surfers. It's actually the the consistent waves that come in. Well, uh, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll stop it right.